With two games already in the books in this series, we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Ontario's game possession. Picked up along the wall by Santini. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Puck exits the zone. Ontario's looking to break out. Quick pass to Tynan. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. And that goes off a body. Tries to feed it over to Drew. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabs the puck in the corner. Great read in the offensive zone by Jack. And he denied that opportunity. But fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. Moves the puck. Tries to get it over to Doan. And that's poked away. Picked up by Fedemo. Oh, look at this. Here they come. The Panthers makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Gets the fans a blaring. He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The rain have looked sharp so far tonight, and look at this, they've already got the lead. They're doing so many great things right off of the face-off in the opening frame. In the first five minutes, they get the lead, and it's because of their communication, their intensity, all of those intangibles that coaches love to hear, they're setting it tonight. Here's a short pass to Smith. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Kroniak. Sends it over to Connaughton. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Hemmings carrying it ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Ontario's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Ward's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's a chance in front. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. The pass in front. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Hudson. Tucson's got the puck. It's a two on one. Dishes it off. Dishes it again. Oh, hit the post. It hit the post so close. Nice speed inside the offensive zone from the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Moves it to Madden. And it's a quick pass to Tynan. Gaining momentum up along the side. Puck dumped in. The Roadrunners gain possession along the wall. Through center. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, he got a penalty for Walter. 
Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Ontario's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The lane is plugged up and that shot's blocked. Oh, what a slick stop by Malota! Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Dell! More than half the period has expired. Ontario's ahead, 1-0. Off the draw, they take possession. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grant Larsony, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Ontario's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And they win the draw here in their own end. Onyabuchi's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Tucson's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck across to McGregor. The Roadrunners have it now. Here's an offensive chance. And that goes off a player in front. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Dell's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in. And that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Centering feed! Picked off in front. And they clear that puck. Moves it quickly over to Smith. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. And the puck clears the zone. Santini's got the puck in his own zone. Long pass up ahead to center. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Past the midway mark in this period. Ontario's up, one zip. Tucson's back to even strength. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Tremendous stop by Dell. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age and working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And makes the save. Puck grab by Fagamo. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Ontario's caught him along the wall. Cody's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Ontario's got the lead here late in this first period. The Roadrunners win the draw. Quick pass to Doan. Receives the pass. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Roadrunners win that offensive zone faceoff. Made the stop on the play. Ontario's got the puck against the half wall. 
Quick feed down low. Nice save from point blank range. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out challenged right away to make the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tucson's in on the offensive attack now. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. A center feed! And that's intercepted. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves the pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Shot and kept that one out of the net. Zips on net. The lane's clogged up blocking that. Slides the puck to Pinelli. Takes it across the blue line. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. And here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Scooped up along the wall by Drew. Here's a short pass to McGregor. Moves the puck along the half wall. Ontario's got the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Ontario's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. Grabbed along the board by Santini. Quick feed to Thomas. There's a shot. Oh, it's denied. He scores. And that one going off the defender for an own goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. The rain have now gone up by two, and Cheryl, what a way to roll into the intermission if they can keep this up. Yeah, they've been really aggressive and urgent on the puck, and they've shot it with authority, where they have led by a significant margin in terms of possession and shots on net, James. They've been rewarded for their efforts, and now they're going to go sit in intermission, but they need to come out with that killer instinct and dictate the pace, continue to set the tone in the second. Resume this power play. The Roadrunners take possession off the faceoff. They clear the zone. Angles it over to Tynan. And the puck skips away after that move. Tynan's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. McCarthy's penalty is almost expired. The man advantage is over. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Good hit. Moves it to McGregor. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The rain have taken possession along the wall. The Roadrunners have the puck now. 
Tucson's got it in their own zone. Takes a shot. It's in. He scores. Love this goal, James. It's effort and skill all wrapped into one. He's stumbling. It almost looks like he's going to fall. But he uses that core athletic ability to hold on, find the puck, and get a shot off. That shot fools the goaltender. He's on the board. Tucson suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. Kenick's won the draw at center. Steps inside. Takes the pass. Denies it again. Back to back to back saves. Moves it to the middle. Great defense and hits up play to pick it off. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Passes on over to Drew. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big time stop there. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Win the defensive zone faceoff. The Rain have gained possession off the wall. Ontario's got control of it now from their own end. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. A chance in front. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area. And defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. McGregor's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Tynan's won the draw and they're on the attack. Oh, and it denies him on the one-timer. Wow! And he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, a move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Tynan's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. of the frame, it's 2-1. Jody's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Volota's gonna hang on for a whistle. 
Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Doty's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. The Roadrunners play it along the boards. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Quick shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dell. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Slides it quickly to Doty. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Handles the puck. Here's a chance. On the breakaway. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Poked away at center by Anya Bucci. From center, they get into the attacking area. Kicked away. Nice pad saved by the goaltender. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Back to the point, it goes. Here's a rip. Denies him with the save. Ontario's got it in the offensive zone. Driving right to the front. And he turns that one aside. Pelota is able to get to position and negate that dangerous lock shot. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Summary feed! And that's stopped! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Ontario's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Stops him with the glove! Pelota has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Here in the late going of the frame, Ontario's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And that goes off a stick. Across the line, down the left wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Dell. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Doty's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And he slides it quickly to Fegamo. Misses over the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net. And, well, you can't do that, and you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. You're trailing by one, and you take the penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Power plays are a funny thing. Sometimes they can take away momentum. They have to find a way to generate some now, James. It happens all game. They have to find a way to get a good entry. The setup is the most important part. McGregor's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Denied by the goaltender. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Tynan's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Gets a hold of the puck. Here's the chance to set up now. Picked up along the boards by Madden. Chance in front! Stop the puck and he's gonna hang on. Late goings of this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Back in the way as he wins the shot inside the offensive zone. Yes, and the call there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. 
Always set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Gets a good on it to make the stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. McGregor's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The center's tied up. He swoops in to take possession. And he cuts up with the stop there. Quick pass to Thomas. Jennings almost back on the ice. Can't get it to go. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks for Chief James. So the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Ontario's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Thomas has the puck against the half wall. Good save by the goaltender. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Ontario's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Tyman's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Let's it go. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Tucson's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments.
possession. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Tucson's got to get the puck, James. I mean, if we're in layman's turn, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Quick feed to Madden. Puck scooped up by McCartney. Throws it in. Good hit on the play. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Ontario's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Slick feed. Back to the blue line. Point blank stop by Malota. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 game. Tucson's got the win off that draw. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed. Slides it out front. Scores! What a finish on the play! I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Tucson's won it. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Rain have the puck against the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Oh, James, I just love this goal. It shows all the elements in the game of hockey. You have to have spatial awareness. You have to have your head up to know exactly where you want to move the puck before you do. And this is the perfect example as he is stumbling and recognizes that he's got to get that stick to puck and move that pass right to the open player, immediately does it, and as a result, it's in the back of the net. Taken by Connaughton. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance, and makes the save. Bolota's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Ontario's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Makes a save, gets a piece of him with the glove. Bolota's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Ontario's got a one-goal lead. McGregor's quick stick off the draw wins possession. have it against the wall. Ontario's grabbed a hold of the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Tucson's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. Denies that opportunity. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. 
The Roadrunners get the equalizer, and look at this with the time of this game. Huge, Cheryl. Huge goal with respect to timing as well, James. Not only is it the equalizer, it tells me one thing. They made the adjustments that they talked about in the intermission. A great start to the third. Gains the zone from the right side. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. We got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Ontario's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Gets the puck over to Tony. Broken up by Kemper. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck, but you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. The rain have it in their own zone. Moves it to Pinelli. He's got a step. Good on it on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're one on one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Ontario's won the draw. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The rain have taken the offensive attack. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Ontario's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And we'll get the whistle on to the goaltender hangs on. And they win the offensive zone face off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Oh my goodness, it's Tina! What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Ontario's won the faceoff. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save in front! Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Puts it on net! Denies him! The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Here in the back half of this period, 
It's all tied up. Lawrence won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Pelotas opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Tucson's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And the puck's knocked loose. And he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Loses his balance on the play. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Tucson's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Oh, smart heads are play to poke that one away. Pushes it across to Lee. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Onyabuchi's got it in the defensive end. Quick shot! And he had the answer on that one. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Here's a shot! Is going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Ontario's got the puck inside the offensive zone. He got all of that one. Here we go, one man rush. Here he is, he's close. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Hellenius wins the draw on their own end. Tries to get it to Tromiak. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Takes control of the puck. Tucson's across the blue line. Now a quick pass to Camper. Pass back to the point. Gives up the body for the block. Pelotas got the puck through the neutral zone. Fires it on net. No room for that one to get through. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Down the right side and into the zone. Slides the puck down low. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The setters will glide into the dot. Ontario's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to Madden. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Battle along the boards. Works it across to Madden. Sends a pass over. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Ontario's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, and you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. you got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. The Roadrunners cross the blue line and are on the attack. Connaughton's lugging the puck. And now it's grabbed by Madden. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And he loses control of the puck. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Strong defensive effort. Dolan's going to play it against the half wall. There's a firm collision. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Quick feed to Doan. Here's a chance. Shot. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. The Ice Hogs are trying to get themselves back in the game, but you can't do that when you keep wiring it off the post. 
Good fight for the puck along the boards. We got a whistle offside the call. Ontario's coaches have to be impressed in what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Strong team effort tonight leads them to victory and they take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game can mean the series tied or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. Gotta love playoff time. Everything matters, every moment, every play. And we will see you at the next game from all of us here at EA Sports. Cheers.